over time, obviously this gets worse. So what are we seeing happen to the veins? Correct. So on what, what eventually happens with these patients is they develop what's called venous hypertension. Okay. So whenever we think about hypertension, we think about the arteries. Same blood pressure you take when you visit your, your, your primary care doctor or you right. go to your local uh, pharmacy. Um, but we're talking about a different type of uh, blood pressure. Remember, your arteries have a high pressure system. Mm -hmm. All right, and they travel. They take blood away from the heart. In order to do that, the veins require to, for them to be a low pressure system. And unfortunately, whenever these uh, the veins start developing dysfunction, they Become start high. Correct. They start accumulating blood. That increase in blood mm -hmm. in the legs causes increase in hydrostatic pressure or increase. So now it's happening way too fast for it to keep it, up. Exactly. It's actually creating a decrease in the gradient between the arteries and the veins, causing decreased blood flow. Okay, so now if your blood flow is affected, that means it probably affects other parts of the body as well, other, other health issues? It can if you let it uh, progress. Okay. And obviously you can have several, uh, several ranges of complications. Um, obviously the gamut can come, run from just... Uh, cosmetic veins such as you know varicose veins or right. reticular veins to actually getting swelling mm -hmm. in your legs um, or even developing an ulcer okay. and even the worst can even be a blood clot. Wow but this happens over time so how Correct. long does it take for a venous disease to form? You mentioned maybe someone can begin even as early as adolescence? Correct. Um, there's risk factors. Okay. Obviously, obviously one of the f most important risk factors, genetics. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, a secondary risk factor is standing long periods of time or sitting long periods of time, not being okay. mobile. All right. So obviously, I gave the first example of um, uh, the soldier standing for long periods of right. time, but it's often seen in patient in people that who sit. Sta sit or stand. Okay. Very common in, in professional in health professions is very common. Uh, retail, I see a lot of retail workers. Uh, airlines, people who work in the airport are usually standing for mm -hmm. long periods of time. We see that. Um, in addition, very common in women, very much okay. after pregnancy.